Hey guys, I woke up with a sudden urge of wanting to help someone in need and I just didn't know how. So the Lord put it in my heart to just pray. And this is very out of my comfort zone because usually I keep praying to myself and that's like something that I do in my prayer closet and I've never really prayed out for multiple people or for others. So it's really out of my comfort zone and I'm very anxious doing this and fear is flooding, but that's how I know that it's something that I need to do and it's it's something that's needed right now and I just need to throw myself into this uncomfortable place and just do it because that's when the anointing of God will just fall and he clearly knows something that I don't so <sighs> I'm gonna pray Father God I come before you today to just speak peace in the midst of people's storms Release the worry, release the stress, release the fear, the anxiety, the depression, release all of that trying to flood them, Father God. Show them the way. Help them navigate this tough season, Father God. Show them where to go. Show them who they are. Give them their identity, Father God. Help them to know what to do, what to say, what to create. Father God, give them understanding. Give them wisdom and knowledge. Help those that are grieving to grieve. Help those that don't know what to feel to feel. Help those that are trying to be perfect to release that and help them to be human. Help them to, to feel their emotions. Help them to tap into you and help them to get closer to you. Help those that don't believe to believe, Father God. Help those that are losing their faith. Help them to regain it, Father God. Restore their faith, restore their strength, restore their belief, restore their hope, Father God. I know that you're a restorer, Father God, and I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Help you, help us all evolve, Father God. Help us become. Help us to build and help us to grow. Help us to create. Restore creativity, Father God. Restore that dark, that dark cloud that has been overcoming all of us and help us to create content. Help us not compare ourselves to others. Help us to flourish. Help us to become. Show us who we need to be, Father God. Help us not want what anybody else wants. Help us not compare ourselves to others and 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 to just be flooded with what other people have and what we don't have. Help us look at what we have and think of it as great. Help us not think of what we have as lack. Help us not think of what we don't have. Help us to be grateful for what we do have. Help us to reconnect, Father God. Help us to reconnect with our families and our friends. Help us reconnect with you. Help us reconnect with ourselves because a lot of us don't take time for ourselves. Help us to find ourselves. Help us to find our purpose. Help us be empathetic, Father God, for all those that are grieving and all those who are lost and all those who don't have much. Help us to help others in need. Help us to not think of ourselves and to hoard things. Help us to help others that are in need and help us to give out of our abundance to others that don't have anything, Father God. To all those with businesses, help them stay afloat, Father God. Give them strategy and ways and, and, and things to do in order to stay afloat, Father God. Help those that are struggling with finances, help them pay their bills, Father God. Help us to believe, help us to not dwell on the past, help us not stress over the future, help us live in the moment. Help us know what it is that you're trying to teach us and what you're trying to show us in this moment. Help us try to see things in your in your way, in your vision, because I know that your way is far above our ways and your thoughts are far above our thoughts. Help us to rise above our circumstance. Help us not look at what's happening around us. Help us to just think above. Help us to look above. Help us to focus on you, God. Help us not focus on anything else. Help us not focus on the things that are happening. Help us not focus on the money that we don't have. Help us not focus on the, the sickness and the illness and the pandemic and when normal will come about. Help us not focus on that. Help us focus on what it is that you're telling us to do. Help those that don't know you to know you, Father God. Help those that stopped believing. Help those that are backsliders come back to you, Father God. You're an amazing God and I thank you for all that I have and all that you do. Give us discernment. Help us know who's for us and who's not for us. Help us know who is trying to overtake us and who's trying to harm us. Release strongholds and break yokes. 
Help us to break free from depression and anxiety and oppression. Help us break free from generational curses. Give us the strength to fight back. Help us find the identity that we so desperately seek for. Show us what it is we need to do. Show us what it is we need to say. Help those that struggle with laying their will down. Help them to lay their will down and take on your will for their life. Help those that left the church and don't even want to be a part of wanting to know you because of these religious people throwing all these hatred things and all their opinions onto them. Help those that don't even want to get to know you because they think that you're a hateful God and you're judgmental and all these negative things that people try to throw at them. Help them come to you. Help them know who you are. Help them to, help them to recognize that they're fearfully and wonderfully made and they're, they're set apart. Help them to know who you truly are. Help those that have been through things. Help them to not dwell on them. Help them to forgive. Help them not to identify themselves with what they've been through. Help them to use what they've been through and use it as a testimony. Help us all to believe that all things are going to work together for the good. Help us live in the moment. Give us confidence and courage. Help us see ourselves the way that you see us, Father God. Show us the way. Help us not be so hard on ourselves. Help us forgive ourselves. Help us forgive others. Help us to just be nicer to not only ourselves, but to others. Change our thoughts, Father God. Change our perspective. Help us understand and help us to navigate life and help us to just push forth. You know people's circumstances. Touch them, Father God. Help them know that you're with them. Help them know that you're there, even though they can't feel you or they can't see you. Help them to believe. Help them to see you even in the midst of a storm. Give them peace, Father God, and joy. Fill them with your spirit. Heal their mind, body, soul, and their spirit. You know their struggles, Father God. Help them get through. Help them build their faith. Help them recognize that the faith is a muscle and you have to work it. Help them recognize that faith and hope and belief isn't only to be used when things are bad. It needs to be used every day, even when it's good. So Father God, I thank you for what we do have. I thank you for life. I thank you for your provision. I thank you for the good and the bad because it's the bad that creates our testimony. It's the bad that grows the good. It's the bad that helps us see how good we really have it. It's the bad that gives us creativity and ideas. It's the bad that shows us who we truly are. And the good is just the fruit of it. And I thank you, God, for it all. Touch the prayers I don't even know what to pray for and touch the people that I don't even know who to pray for. Help all those in need. Help those that feel lonely. Help those that feel lonely and afraid and lost. Help them find their way. Help them feel loved. Even though they, they are alone in the house, let them know that you're with them. And even if they're in the midst of a crowd and they still feel alone, let them know that they're loved. Let them know that they're, that they're not alone because they're always with us. And I thank you, God, for that. I give you glory and honor and praise. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.